Hey folks! Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to do K means clustering on color and grayscale images on C++. First of all, make an empty project in Visual Studio. Then, set the 64-bit system and release mode for compilation. After that, we will add our C++ source file. In this source file, we will include our core libraries and OpenCV library. We will also add additional libraries and dependencies in our project to remove these errors. After adding these libraries, we will check our program by building it. Here, it is successfully built. So, we are good to go ahead. First, we can define a k-means function, which will take a normal image and number of clusters as an input. In return, this function will process and return back a clustered image. Now, we will write our main function. In this main function, first of all, we will read the image. Then, we will print out the image information. Its height, width and number of channels. After this, we will define the number of clusters required. Now, we will put our image and number of clusters in our defined function, and we will get a clustered image in return. At the end, we will write our clustered image to see the result. At the end, we will pause our program so that it will not close automatically when it finishes processing. Now, we will write the K 
means function. We are going to write this program compatible for both color and grayscale image. In order to calculate the clusters, we need to convert our data into float data type. So, if the image is colored, we need to convert each channel, otherwise, grayscale image has only one channel. Then, we will define the output variables. We will use a built-in function from OpenCV for image clustering. In this function, we will input our defined variables, determine the maximum number of iterations and accuracy criteria. Here, maximum number of iterations are 10, accuracy is 1. After getting the labels and other results from this function. Now, we will convert our float data type to unsigned integer type. For this, we will define a new image variable, same as our input image. We will put our clustered data into this new image according to the image type.
Finally, we will return this clustered image to our main function. Now, we will build our program. And here, it successfully builds. Now, we are able to run and test our program. First, we will try the color image. Here is the result of color clustered image. Now, we will also try the grayscale image. And here is the result for grayscale image. Thanks for watching. Please, like, share, and subscribe. Cheers.